Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Ask the Doc. And thank you again for the question. So many have been asking, Sean, when does your next book come out? So the book they're referring to is Finding Hope in Hardship, Lessons for Life from the Book of Philippians. And it is unofficially available now through me as the author for a discounted rate of 10 bucks. But the book doesn't officially come out online or in bookstores until July 22. So again, uh, if you want a book now, just let me know and I'll do my best to get it to you. So how did the book come about? In May of 2020, while we were sheltered in place, uh, I graduated from seminary uh, with my doctorate degree, which took lots and lots and lots of my free time uh, to get through the classes and write the extensive dissertation. Well, after graduating, I had a lot of free time. And not, not only did I had a lot of free time because I was out of seminary, but because we were sheltered in place. And like the rest of the world, we couldn't go anywhere unless we were going shopping or to church or somewhere considered to be essential for our everyday living. Well, I'm not a person that enjoys being sheltered in place. Like many of you, I consider myself to be fairly sociable and I enjoy being around people. So it was very hard for me to be sheltered in place. And I found myself watching the news over and over and over again. And like you already know, there was not a lot of positive on the news. Uh, the unemployment rate was growing. There was a scoreboard for COVID, if you will. And the cases were rising. Hospitalizations were rising. Deaths were rising. And the news report was the sky is falling, the sky is falling, the sky is falling. Hearing that over and over and over again and not being able to go anywhere, I found myself actually becoming a little depressed. Now, I wouldn't say clinical depression, but I would say that I was somewhat depressed and I just wanted life to change. And I found myself going before the Lord and saying, Lord, I need to clean my mind. I need my mind to be washed of all this negativity. How can I be positive while I feel like I'm in, in some sort of a prison, if you will, not able to go anywhere? And the Lord took me to the book of Philippians to study the life of Paul at a point in his life where he had been locked up for some time with no freedom in the future as a prospect. But yet he wrote what we consider to be the most joy-filled letter in all of the New Testament, a letter filled with hope, the book of Philippians. So I started reading that book over and over and over again. And then I started journaling what God was doing in my own journey. And then I took that journal at the prompting of the Lord and turned it into a manuscript. I sent that manuscript to my publisher and he and his team agreed that this should become a book for a time such as this because many people are searching for hope. So I hope that you'll consider getting you a copy of Finding Hope with Hardship and walk with me through the book of Philippians and learn some lessons for life that can help as we all seek to grow in a hope with a hope filled mind in this new normal that we find ourselves living in that seems to change on a regular basis. The book of Philippians offers hope because joy is found in a vibrant growing relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, not in our circumstances. Thank you again for the question. And remember, as always, God loves you and so do we. Have a great week.